Welcome back. This is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today, we're going to continue on that journey for Hashimoto's thyroiditis, dietary considerations for Hashimoto's thyroiditis. What can you eat? What can you not eat? Some misconceptions about what's good and what's bad. So I want to go ahead and take some time and clear that up for you. Okay. So today we're going to talk about dietary restrictions. Okay. There's a lot of controversy about iodine. Is it good or is it bad? Well, it depends, right? If you have Hashimoto's thyroiditis, it might not be the best thing for you. If you have another condition, iodine might be good for you, right? Gordigens, a gordigen's bad for your thyroid, right? Gluten, good or bad? Lectins, nuts, seeds, and those type of things, good or bad? A popular diet called the autoimmune paleo diet, is it good or bad? Specific dietary proteins, certain proteins that may look similar to gluten can cause problems. Um, so is that good or bad, right? Do we have to eliminate everything? Maybe, maybe not. It really depends on the individual. How do we address a patient who has Hashimoto's thyroiditis and has issues with certain foods, or limitation because they think everything is causing a problem for them. How do we help these patients? Over here, dietary modifications. One thing is microbiome diversity. In order to improve the um, immune system or neurotransmitter production or gut microflora or bowel movements, right? all these things, you need to improve the microbiome, the ecology of your gut. Right? And we'll discuss that in detail. Sodium intake. Can sodium intake affect Hashimoto's thyroiditis? Dysglycemia. Fluctuating blood sugar, whether it's high or low, can affect Hashimoto's thyroiditis. So what we're going to do over the next couple of weeks is to really delve into what uh, misconceptions there are and what nutrients are important and what foods can be eliminated or added back in. At the end of the day, what it comes down to is individuality. Everyone is slightly different in terms of how uh, they react to certain foods. So it's important to understand that there are certain mechanisms that can be detrimental um, and to really understand what types of proteins or foods or even dairy and, um, can affect Hashimoto's thyroiditis, okay? So next week, we're gonna discuss number one, iodine. How does iodine affect the thyroid? Is it good or bad? All right, so tune in. My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.